Your iPad home screen is a pretty standard affair. A background and some icons. But there are a few features to consider that will help you manage and customise your screens. All these icons are folders or applications, and to modify them all you need to do is long press on them. This will cause them to start shaking, and that means you can edit them. Many of the application icons will have a tiny cross marked against them in the upper left hand corner. If you press this it will uninstall the application completely from the tablet. You will be asked to confirm this if you do decide to uninstall the application. If you press and hold your finger on an application, you can drag it around the screen to reposition it. As you can see, all the other icons will rearrange themselves as you drag the icon around, so that everything repositions itself as you want it. To finish editing your icons, simply press the physical home button on the iPad. Next up is folders. You can place various applications into folders to better organise the category of applications you have. Simply tap on the folder to reveal its contents. To create a folder, long press on an icon to go into edit mode and pick it up and then drag it over to another icon and drop it on top of it. This will create a folder and the iPad should automatically try to name the folder and it usually gets it spot on. From there, simply pick up more icons and drop them into the folder to create a larger folder. To take applications out of a folder, pick them up and then place them back on the home screen. Finally, when in edit mode, note the difference between system applications and downloaded applications. System applications such as messaging, maps and safari cannot be uninstalled from the tablet and therefore do not have a cross against them in edit mode. Also, you cannot delete folders.